We are pleased to be joined by Dr. Justin Sambo, who is medical staff president and chief of cardiothoracic surgery, University Hospital. He also has another title. He's senior associate dean of clinical affairs, Rutgers, New Jersey Medical School. How are you doing? Good. Explain the two connections, University Hospital and Rutgers. So uh, as most people I think know, uh, about two years ago, UMDNJ, uh, which had a couple medical schools and owned University Hospital, uh, became Rutgers University. However, University Hospital spun off to become a separate state-owned entity. So everything's under the Rutgers umbrella to one extent? So the medical staff, by and large, are faculty uh, of Rutgers University, but University Hospital is a separate entity, yeah. separate from Rutgers. And, and University Hospital still does extraordinary work in a lot of areas. Trauma, big area? A lot of trauma surgery, very well known for that. A number of other things, neurosurgery, head and neck surgery, uh, cardiology, heart failure. I'm a cardiac surgeon, so yeah. do good work there too. So, so connect it for us, uh, doctor. When you have a hospital that's so involved in so many important clinical areas, but then you've got this medical education piece, tie the two together. Paint that picture for those of us who don't have the medical background and help us understand why that's so important and ultimately, frankly, what it means to the rest of us. So the mission of New Jersey Medical School and University Hospital really is to educate doctors of tomorrow, the future doctors, residents. I was a medical student there. I did my training there, and many of us are there to pass on the things that we've learned and the things that we do to the junior doctors and people who are learning. Okay, but the fact that university is there, does it create opportunities for students in the medical school that otherwise wouldn't be because you're so tied to university hospitals, so they see things, they experience things, they learn things that otherwise would not happen in another medical school? Sure, I think- For example, lay that out for us. Yeah, I think the, the types of patients that we take care of, the acuity, the severity of the disease that we take care of, uh, the mission to care for the people of Newark and Essex County really provides for a tremendous opportunity for the students of New Jersey Medical School. Go back and make the connection with Rutgers. What does Rutgers offer you? So, you know, I think now that we're part of Rutgers University, it provides a, a very large state university with a tremendous amount of resources that I think for the students gives a tremendous amount of opportunity that will help uh, just bring in resources to, to the, the medical school. And Big Ten sports, of course. Yeah, Big Ten sports. Oh, why, why do you have to get that in there? <laughs> that matters, doesn't it? I, you know, look, I think it's important. Uh, I think it's important for the state. I think it's great for the school. And uh, I think it's a big attraction. I was talking to a colleague in the healthcare field who was out at Stanford University yesterday uh, and talking to me about the research going on out there. And she said to me, it is extraordinary what's going on here and the impact it's having in the research community and the medical community. And I thought to myself, is that possible one day? That what you're talking about could be, I mean, could we compete? Could Absolutely. We? I Describe think, it. I think uh, you know, New Jersey Medical School, Robert Wood Johnson Medical School already have very robust research programs that were going on before. Now you combine that with all the things that have been happening at Rutgers. And uh, I think you really can, potentially we could really build a tremendous university that will be great for the state of New Jersey. What's it gonna take? You know, it takes resources, it, take, it takes infrastructure, uh, it takes uh, a willingness and a, a drive to do on it. Whose and part? I think the, well, I think on the part of the state, on the part of uh, the people in New Jersey, and I think on the part of the leadership of Rutgers. And I think the leadership of Rutgers really is dedicated to that goal. When you say the people in New Jersey, what can we do? Well, I, I think uh, support the school and uh, support its mission and understand that. The finances are important, and uh, it's something that... It's not just going to happen on its own. It's not going to happen. It definitely requires the state and financial support. I'm curious about this. I asked uh, some of your colleagues this question. I want to ask you as well. When did you know that 
medicine would be your professional life? So it was something I really decided early on. Um, I always visioned myself as a doctor, and I think that- How far back? As far as I could remember, that's really? what I Seriously? wanted to do. Seriously. My father owned a construction company, but all I could think about was becoming a doctor. Because? It, just the science, I love the science, helping people. It really combined all the things that I thought were really important to me. And all the challenges that you've had to face, and the changes in the healthcare industry, and the regulations, and everything else, and you say, still love it, would do it again. I think, uh, you know, I grew up in this time with change, and we've been able to adapt to it. And uh, I think, you know, medicine, there are definitely pitfalls and struggles, but I think it's a great profession. Dr. Sample, I appreciate it, and we are glad you made that decision. Keep it up, You're making a difference every day. Thank you very much. Thanks, Steve. Appreciate it. The preceding program has been a production of the Caucus Educational Corporation, celebrating over 25 years of broadcast excellence, and 13 for WNET, NJTV, and WHYY. Funding for this edition of Caucus New Jersey has been provided by the New Jersey Education Association, Wells Fargo, Qualcare Inc., Felician College, United Water, New Jersey Sharing Network, and by Cone Resnick. Transportation provided by Airbrook Limousine, serving the metropolitan New York, New Jersey area. Caucus New Jersey has been produced in partnership with TriStar Studios.